What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Mankind. Let's get straight into it. We needed your bathroom painted, and Uh-oh. the app was like, Oh, mm. my God. <laughs> would you like to hire a female to do this job? And mm-hmm. you're like, I would. Hey, that's a really good idea. And she showed up with <laughs> one paintbrush and no paint. I mean, what a bombshell. Who saw that coming? I pretty much paid her like $700 to prime my bathroom. Oh, wait, I remember Remember, that. she brought yes. one paintbrush. I was like, I have a roller. She's like, oh, it's not my technique. And that shit's fucking annoying. And then you're like, get me a man in here immediately. <laughs> Preferably someone who speaks Spanish and gets it done in a day. Seriously. And he came in and did it in an hour and a half. He was like, it's good. I did three coats. We're men. That's what we do. We always hear the we could do it if we wanted to argument from women. But just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. There's nothing wrong with being real. That's hilarious to me. She want she wanted a woman to come in. She really did. She really did. But when she came in, she's like, "No, that's really not my technique. I like to go really slow with it all, you know." Oh, I think I've seen this, this clip. This is gonna be hilarious. We all know how these experiments are gonna end anyway. Meanwhile, now the Estrogen Network presents <laughs> Afternoon <laughs> Yak. Man. Yeah! <laughs> Cancel. Getting in there. I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. Want to see magic trick? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. So dumb, dude. Ta-da. Excuse me, kiss up, slap. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I owe them up. This is not, not what cool. I expected. You come with me. No. I want to fuck you and hang out. No, why are you embarrassing me? Years from now, they're going to think that's poetry. Maybe it looks crooked to me. Babe, it's not It's not crooked. It's the, the wall. This is absolutely hilarious. That is crooked. That is crooked by like an inch and a half. It's not crooked. What? Are you sure that it's not crooked? Uh, (sighs) Remember your pressure points. Do you see this bubble? Look, the bubble Uh is in between, perfectly centered between (laughs) the two lines. Perfectly centered. Bro, from a guy that just hung up his his TVs, we bought a new TV. Like, bro, this will keep you up at night if it's just a little off. Maybe the bubble is wrong? Oh my, oh my god. god. Fuck! Fuck! Bubble. The bubble is not the bubble is not wrong. The bubble is right. The bubble is right. All right. We're done here. You got to love it when they try to micromanage you, but they don't know what the fuck. But they're... yeah, dude, and well the thing is women like to do this. They like to micromanage, they like to be like, "Well, you need to be doing this and you need to be doing that." I'm like, "Watch out for that. Watch out for that." The worst thing ever is when a woman is sitting there watching you work and she's giving her two cents. I'm going to tell you right now, don't do it. Don't do it. Send her off to go do her own thing. This so this way you don't have to listen to her. <laughs> Cuz nobody wants to I don't dude, I don't want to hear you micromanage me, bro. Ooh, fall. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh shit! Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> That'll knock the breath. Oh my god. Big back, big back. Now, if that big retro back, Transformer sound back. effect didn't crack you up, you are made of fucking stone. It gets me every time. But look, uh, just a quick reminder if you're enjoying the video, please. <laughs> that was wild to me. She folded like origami, bro. <laughs> 
she folded like straight origami. This mankind will be putting together some funny comps, dude. Air conditioner and it's cold. How did that burn up? You're like, you are so stupid. Stupid. Jesus Christ. This don't make the air cold or hot. It turns the blower motor. Dummy. Oh boy. You gotta love the logic. We don't air condition wires. We air condition people. Don't come back no more, no more, no more. Scientists have just announced today that dolphins are second to man in intelligent levels. Oh my gosh. I kind of expected that though, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, women in third place now. <laughs> Kind of expected that. The mother is the most difficult job on the planet. Oh yeah, I thought roofing in the middle of July is I a red. I love Bill Burr. So I good. That that was so good, dude. But these mothers are bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. Like being single? Yeah. You like it, right? Yeah. You like being free? It's so free. Free. I have right? all the time in the world. Yeah. <laughs> You're hurt. <laughs> <laughs> she's a hurdle, she's a track star. You're hurt. Tell me your damage without telling me your damage. I love it, dude. I have been cursed today with not one, but two female Uber drivers. Absolutely not. Both of them made wrong turns. They each got me there way later than the expected ETA. And I was running pretty late because I am a woman. And you know, there's a female only driver option on these apps. The idea is that so women could feel safer by having only female driver. Yeah, I think it's a great app. Bro, I'm gonna give it a buck. I had a female Uber driver the other day and she didn't even know that she had picked me up. <laughs> She had no idea. She only does Uber Eats and doesn't do like Uber. And I guess on the app, she got confused. And so I'm like, I'm like waving her down. She like drives up to me and she's like, this isn't a delivery. She's like, I, I didn't even know I was picking you up. I'm like, yeah, you're picking me up. Stupid. I need to go somewhere. So I need a ride. Are you okay with that? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. And then the whole way she's like, I, I can't get, I can't get this app to work. It's just not working. I can't. Uh. And so I basically had to direct her on where to go, what turns to take. And then I, I noticed that if I was talking to her too much, she wouldn't pay attention to the road. She was like hitting potholes and like people were almost running into her. I felt so unsafe in the car. We almost got into a wreck like two times. I was like, this is killing me. So I, I don't I don't know. It's the absolutely worst ride I ever had. And it's because she thought it was like an Uber Eats person. I was like, no, this is actually Uber. This is Uber, not Uber Eats. It was killing me. Idea. Absolutely not. If I want to know that I will get to my destination, on time that I want a male only driver option. I don't blame you. I needed that today. I would pay a premium. Get at me. I don't even care. You all know it's true. I'm really not trying to well, diminish the, what the thing is, victim. dude, men drive faster. Men drive faster. We get there quicker. We're usually better drivers. I mean, this is why there's only one female driver that you know about. Danica, Danica Patrick. <laughs> That's it. Name, name, name five other ones. Please let me know. Name five other ones. I don't know a single other NASCAR driver besides Danica Patrick. I don't even know if she's that good. I know ones from the 90s. Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Dale Earnhardt. I don't know I don't know the guys now. I don't know who's cooking now, but those guys were really popular when I was a kid. And yeah, there's there's no like female NASCAR drivers or rally car drivers. Like women aren't known for driving fast and and doing like high action sports like Red Bull. I'm watching the guys do the Red Bull stuff. I'm not watching the girls. Like the only sport I like watching in girls is like volleyball. <laughs> And it's for obvious reasons. The Olympics, bro. Watching the Brazilians, bro. That, that's where it's at. <laughs> Show me six inches. Six inches? Oh, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> After all, six inches. Yeah, yeah. Put it up. God damn it. You know when, like, guy do some work, like, work, and then you see, like, the veins oh, here? Yeah. yeah, we like that, too. I think that's... Whoa. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, that's gay. Wait, hold on, yo, chip. No. No, <laughs> He's no, no, like, no. whoa, he got all excited. He forget. He did forget what team he was playing for. I meant like, I actually don't know what I meant, actually. I'm not gonna lie, I, didn't, I don't even know what I meant. This is very gay, I don't know what to do now. Um, Guys, I'm the opposite of gay. My friends and I are part of a group chat called Gay or Not Gay, where someone types in an idea or something they've done and then we all decide and vote if it's gay or not gay. 
So someone typed in today, learning horseback archery. Very gay. And that got voted gay. I, I got to disagree with this one, man. Bro, no, bro, no, that is gay. If you have enough time to go out there and learn horseback archery, that's gay. Polo, gay. You're, you're learning how to jump obstacles with horses, bro, that's gay. Honestly, anything that anything that my friends put in there, I'm going to just go ahead and say it's gay just, just to make them mad. Oh, shit. <laughs> Even if it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to just go ahead and say that it is. What, what What's the not gay things? The last one. Most of them get voted as gay. The last one that was not gay, I believe, was singing along to Elton John in definitely the car. Gay. Specifically Tiny yeah. Dancer. Mm, definitely gay. That was not gay. The gayest sounding one, surprisingly not gay. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, guys in group chats are like that. A lot of people should do it, is create a group chat like that. So, If someone gives you a weak handshake, crush their hand. Be a Be man. man. I love this guy. <laughs> they got to learn early. Get it out of here, son! <laughs> <laughs> they got to learn early. I cannot believe... That's all right, it's all right. Just don't fuck with me again. Hey, nothing good in this world comes easy, little man. <laughs> let me know in the comments. Are you going to, if you have a kid, are you going to let your kids like win every game? Or are you going to, you know, shut them down? So it's time to relax. This is how you actually trick your brain to enjoy hard things. By default, the brain tends to avoid effort. But here's where an expedient comes into play. Contrary to popular belief, the brain finds anticipation more rewarding than attainment. The biggest sense of satisfaction doesn't come from reaching a goal, but from the feeling that you are reaching it. That's what radically changes the game. When the brain understands a win will follow the effort, the reward system activates, and you actually start enjoying Well, you the know what they call it? They actually call that the mid-singulate cortex. That is something that Andrew Huberman talks about. They call it the will to live in your mind. This is why I always talk about you got to go work your butt off, dude. Like, work a 9 to 5, and then go work a, nine, a 5 to 9. But it's called the mid-singulate cortex by Andrew Huberman. Look it up. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, they've equated it to the will to live. When you go and endure hard things, this part of your brain grows. But when you stop pushing yourself and stop doing hard things, this part of your brain stops growing. This is why you shouldn't doom scroll get on social media and just scroll mindlessly like go out there and push yourself do things that are difficult because it's going to make you grow and it's going to make you stay alive a lot longer process the moral of the story gentlemen is don't let yourself become stagnant don't yeah i mean it's, that's a that's a no-brainer though like go out there push yourself be the best version of yourself that's what you should be striving for and then fall in love with the journey not the destination an average silverback gorilla can deadlift 1800 pounds and their grip can crush a crocodile's God. skull they're four to nine times stronger than an average human male. Are you telling me I'm four to nine times away from being able to crush a crocodile's skull, dude? Fucking shit. <laughs> so stupid. When you finally bench two and a half kilos more than your gym, bro. I'm going to go f*** your mom. <laughs> that kid, like... <laughs> that shit is so... <laughs> that shit is hilarious to me. Oh, my gosh. Bro, I gotta say, I gotta say, the the comments that I see from you guys, like, you guys be absolutely cracking me up. You absolutely be cracking me up. So I want to tell you guys a, um, a story from, uh, story from college. So there was one time I was, uh, <laughs> I was living with a bunch of homies and, um, you know, we're all in this house where I think we're living in a, I think it's a three bedroom house and four of us. We had one of the, we convinced one of the guys to live in the living room and the rest of us had our, you know, our own rooms or whatever. And this is at the time in my college career when your boy had a roster. Yes, he did. He had a roster. Yes, he did. Thank you. Because uh, I knew how to play the game. I knew how to play the game. Yeah, I wasn't going to be loyal or monogamous in college. I wasn't looking for a wife, bro. I was playing the field. I wanted to figure it out. So that way, when I, you know, did find a woman that I actually wanted, I knew how to, knew how to bag her. Um, but I'll never forget this, dude. So we're all there. All of our cars are parked there. Everybody's cars are there. And the girl I'm, I'm bucking at the time, she knows She knows what I drive, right? She knows. She drives by, and as soon as I see her pull up, we all just hide, turn all the lights off. She, like, comes in the backyard. She's, like, looking for us, knocking on the door. None of us are going to the door. Bro, I... <laughs> it's just the craziness, the absolute madness. I remember another time. I'm kicking it. Um with a buddy of mine and he had a girl i had a girl you know we're, we're doing the duo the, the tag team the duo we're just but we're just kicking it nothing crazy 
I hear a knock on the door and I'm like, who the hell is that? I go out there. It's one of my exes. Drunk. Drunk ex, bro. Just straight wasted. <laughs> Talking about, let me in, let me in, let me in. Bro, I had to step outside and be like, you need to get your ride to come pick you up to go. You need to get out. You need to absolutely go. But the thing is, the girl that I had inside absolutely loved it. She, she loved it. So the moral of the story is, is when you have a roster, it makes other girls want you more. Dan Bilzerian talks about this. He goes, you want a girl to want you even more? He goes, buck her friend in front of her. It's crazy to think. It's absolutely crazy to think. But like, this is why I say when you're going out and trying to, you know, cupcake with a girl, maybe you have your target girl, right? But if she has a couple friends around her, maybe the duff, the designated ugly fat friend or somebody who's not as hot, go for that chick. Go for that girl. Because if you can get that girl's attention, it's going to make the other girl feel like she's a regular schmeg because most of the time she gets all the attention. But a lot of guys go out there and shoot for the gold. Don't go for the gold. Go for the bronze. Hell, go for the fourth place. Go for that girl. Get her attention. Get her to be like bought into it. And then, oh, now the first place girl wants to come in. That's how I was. I did I did that trick in college and it worked. You become friends with like all the sorority girls. And most of the time, some of the sorority girls have like, you know, other friends that you can go bag as well. But like, yeah, dude, she's got to be friends with them. That's all it is. Simple friendships. Simple friends. It's your network is your net worth kind of type situation. But it's absolutely crazy to me that a lot of guys these days don't even have that luxury because a lot of women will just shut them down immediately. It absolutely sucks. I feel bad for the Gen Z guys. I really do. Let me know in the comments. Are you a Gen Z? Are you a millennial? Are you a boomer? Are you a Gen X? What are you? Let me know. I want to know what our demographics are. Like, what do we have here? I feel like we have a wide array of guys and a wide array, uh, wide array of, say that 10 times fast, of different professions. We have guys in tech. We have guys that are blue collar. We have white collar, you know, everything. A good mix. So it's interesting to see that it doesn't matter what industry most of these men are in, they still have an issue with the modern women. But it's absolutely crazy. There's a lot of things you can do though to bag them. There's a lot of things you can still do to this day that I think I think there's still a lot of methods that are tried and true. The number one method is, is build yourself up. You build it and they will come. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> they will come. <laughs> but no, go out there and be the best version of yourself. This is why I always say, if you chase things, they run. You chase money, it runs. But you attract it, and it'll come to you. And you always have to, like, speak these things into existence. It's not as much so manifestation. I don't think you should, like, get the rocks in your little room and, like, do, like, aura spells or anything. But, like, speak things into existence like you already have them. I remember back in November when I started the YouTube channel that I was like, I will have 10,000 subscribers. I will have 10,000 subscribers. I, I do have 10,000 subscribers. I do have 20,000 subscribers. And then, boom, look at us right now. We're thriving. We have a full community. The Knicks Nation is live. We're right here. We got all you guys here. We hang out every single day. And I absolutely love coming in here for 20 minutes every day and giving you guys a piece of my life. This is great because you're getting to see a lot. Oh, Loki's not here today because he's out with Cassie. He's, he's taking a walk. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Texas. I think it's around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. So I was like, Cass, go ahead and take him out. But she's just walking the dog out there. I'm just recording, putting food on the plates for the family. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I had somebody and jump in the discord. If you guys have like questions or anything, there was a guy in the discord today who was talking about um, like, what should I do? What profession I should pick? And maybe some of you other guys could get some value out of this. Here's what I say when it comes to like picking a profession, what to study in college, find something that you could do for 10 hours a day that you'd never get sick of. For me at the time in college, it was music. So I did music for a long time, but then I started to realize I wasn't making any money. And then I was just like, man, I'm working so hard, putting in so many hours and getting nothing in return. So I pivoted. So you almost have to treat your life like you're a scientist. Go out there and try different things, try different experiments. But the thing is with a scientist, they see the experiment through. They have the controllables and then they switch things in and out. I'm gonna take this, put this together. Oh, that didn't work. I'll take that out, put this in. So like, go try things, go try and fail. For instance, people ask me, how, Levi, how are you doing so well on YouTube? Because I tried a lot of stuff. I've been on Instagram for like three years. And then when I first started my channel years ago, I was posting like um, casino content. I know Ripley's Believe It or Not crazy. Cass and I would go to the casino. I would record like vlogs. I put them up on. They did okay, but I was only able to put out a video a week. And I was like, how can I do this at scale? And then me and her tried a podcast. It just didn't work. We didn't have the time. She didn't want to be on camera. And I respected that. And then I was like, you know what? Let me start a reaction channel. I started, no, no, I started in November of last year and I didn't really see any traction until like month seven. So just, just take that, take that. And I had a hundred thousand followers on, on Instagram. So I had, I had clout there so I could push people here, but like YouTube is a whole other beast. So for anything that you're doing, be willing to put your head down and do it every day for six months to, before you see any returns and don't expect anything. This is why I said earlier, fall in love with the journey. 
not the destination. Because if you fall in love with the hard work, your mid cingulate cortex, like Andrew Huberman talks about, I highly suggest checking that video out, that will keep growing. You'll keep pushing yourself and always go out there and try to learn something new. Don't keep doing the same thing. Don't get bought into the routine. You know when you go ask people, what's new? And they're like, ah, oh, nothing, same old, same old. That's bad. You want always, you always want to have new things in your life. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go, go cop the ebook, dude. The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. The newest ebook, The Four Steps to Style, is literally the holy grail for everything style, cologne, haircuts, beard, glasses. Like you, you'll have, you won't ever need another ebook again when it comes to style. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.